This entire development has been unbelievable to me, and I'm sure it would be to Ross himself. His contributions were for the betterment of his students. He would never dream of having accolades for his work. This project began as a response, the district's response to um, providing facilities for the uh, cybersecurity pathway that was launched in the academic year of 2017-2018. Measure H was the funding source, the greater funding source that allowed us to proceed with this project at a grander scale. And uh, there was also the opportunity of the state opening up another round of career technical education pathways. The district did apply. Uh, we were granted uh, to be able to design at a greater scale the cybersecurity pathway. Those spaces would serve the actual pathway. As we were designing the uh, building, uh, we were looking at a way to create a new face for the school. Therefore, we were able to move all the administrative services to the front of the school and also provide the new location for, for the pathway. We started this project, it, took, it was four years in the making, and it started in the middle of the pandemic in, J in June of 2020. In 18 months, we received agency approval. Four years later, here we are, occupying the, uh, the building we actually occupied in July of 2024. The first summer, it was a big mad rush to get all of the underground utilities in. We had to demolish the existing art building. We had to get all of our underground electrical, storm drain, sewer, water, all to this place. And we had to get it all done before the kids come back. This building is two stories. It's a little over 22,000 square feet. It houses administrative spaces. It's the new reception area. It is um, the new location for registration and records and attendance, and the health office is over here now. The uh, principal's office is in one place with the three assistant principal's offices. The classrooms are all designed so that teachers can collaborate and students can uh, work together on projects. So in the cybersecurity classrooms, they have uh, partition walls that when down are writable surfaces, they're projection surfaces, but they can also go up so that the classrooms can, um, classrooms can work together. Or you can have a program running in one classroom, it can run in all four cybersecurity classrooms if that's what you want. Um, a lot of what we learned during really even pandemic times was we needed to have a lot more outdoor spaces. And so each of those classrooms now, we have outdoor spaces. The Innovation Center itself is an innovation. The building is unbelievable. You deserve the very best education we can provide to you. So in a lot of ways, the Innovation Center is a symbol of what we're all about. I believe that that's the ma major statement that that Innovation Center makes. I think the fact that the district chose to build an innovation center, already puts it out there that we, the district, is aware uh, that these young people that we are serving today will be out there in the world facing challenges and overcoming those challenges. The meaning of the Innovation Center in that regard is that one day a student who experienced the Innovation Center will become whatever the world needs to make it a better place. That somehow, some way, the Innovation Center at Magnolia High School in the Anaheim Union High School District fostered the motivation gave the students the resources, exposed them to the best educators. They'll go on to college or training of any sort and lead the world.